Hello, uh, it's a bit of a wet miserable day so I thought I would tell you a story. Um, our story is The Bird and the Forest Fire and it's an Indian story so it originally came from the country of India. Once there was a beautiful forest and in that beautiful forest was the most beautiful tree where a small bird lived. Now in this forest there were also lots of other animals living too. One day, the small bird smelt a strange smell. <laughs> it was smoke. She flew up above the treetops to try to see what was causing the smoke. And at the edge of the forest, she saw flames raging through the trees of the forest. <gasps> Fire! cried the animals, and they started to run away as fast as they could. But the little bird stayed where she was. The animals called to her, quick come away with us or you'll get hurt in the fire. But the little bird said, no, I love my home, I love the forest and I will do all that I can to save it. She flew to a nearby stream and dipped her wings into the water. Then she flew back to the fire and flew over the flames, shaking her feathers the droplets fell from her wings and her body onto the flames, but they just fizzed and disappeared. Hmm. Do you think that's enough to put out the fire? But she carried on going back to the stream and then shaking out the droplets over the fire. She did it over and over again, even though the smoke was hurting her eyes and making her cough. And it was really, really hot. She carried on going back to the stream and then back to the flames. Hmm. The fire continued to spread though and it was getting closer and closer to her tree. While all of this was happening, the gods in the sky above were watching and they laughed at the little bird. <laughs> Can you see that little tiny bird? She's trying to put out that huge fire. Doesn't she know that she's too small? How silly! <laughs> But there was one god who admired the little bird. He turned into an eagle and then swooped down to talk to her. He said, little bird, what are you doing? You're too small to put out the fire. You'll get hurt. Quick, fly away. But the little bird said, no, I love the forest. I love my home and I will do everything I can to save it. Now, the eagle god suddenly felt really really proud of that little bird and tears started to fill his eyes. Now sometimes we cry because we're feeling sad but we can also cry because we're really really happy or if we're feeling really really proud of someone. It might be that we're feeling really proud of ourselves or feeling really proud of someone else. You might have seen grown-ups do this. Maybe if you do something really really amazing then your mummy or daddy might have tears in their eyes. And it's not because they're sad, it's because they're so proud of you. Mm -hmm. So the eagle god started to cry. And at first the droplets hit the flames and just fizzed away. But those droplets grew bigger and the droplets turned into a stream. And then the stream turned into a river which flowed through the flames, putting them out as, they, as it went. Soon, all of the flames were extinguished, were put out. Now, can you see this eagle god? He does actually have gold on his wings if I turn it in the light. Can you see? Well, of course, he's a god. He has to have uh, golden feathers. <laughs> so soon, all of the flames were put out. The eagle god flew back up to the heavens and the little bird flew back to her tree. She'd done all that she could, and somehow she had saved the forest. Mm -hmm. Now, the bird in our story was very, very brave, but also what she did was very dangerous. So, do you think, if you find a fire, do you think you should put it out yourself like the little bird did, or try to put it out yourself? No. Um, if you do find a fire, um, please don't try to put it out yourself. It's 
yeah, it's very brave, but it's also very, very dangerous and very, very silly. So if you do find a fire, make sure you move away from the fire. If it's in a building, make sure you get out of that building and um, get away to safety. And then when you are somewhere safe, um, either tell a grown up who can then phone the fire brigade or uh, if you can find a phone yourself, if there's no grown ups around, then phone the fire brigade on 999. Never try to put a fire out yourself like the little guys did. Um, but the reason I told this story today is because um, the bird was kind of like a little superhero in our story. And I feel like there's a lot of little superheroes that need celebrating recently. Um, so in the story, the problem was the fire in the forest. Now at the moment, the world is facing quite a big problem in coronavirus, which is changing the way that everybody throughout the world is living at the moment. Now, when there's a problem, a big problem like this, then you can sometimes feel really, really small, like you couldn't possibly do anything to help. Um, but actually, lots of people have been doing some really amazing things to help. Um, and you may be very small in being children, but what you've been doing is huge. Um, lots of you haven't been going to school. Lots of you haven't been seeing your friends or your family. There's been lots of changes in your life. Now, you might not be doctors and nurses who are treating people and helping them to, to get better from coronavirus, but you're still doing some really amazing things. Um, so well done, you're all being really amazing superheroes, high five. Bam! Now, lockdown is easing and things are changing, rules are changing, and we might be able to see more of our friends and family, but we still need to keep on being superheroes, keep, keep doing all of those amazing things. So even though you might be able to see your friends and family, um, you still might have to keep your distance and not get too close to them. So listen to your grown-ups if they tell you um, that you have to keep uh, your distance. Carry on washing your hands and keep covering your mouth if you're coughing or sneezing. Um, keep doing all that you can. Uh, like the little bird said, she may have been small, but she did all that she could to try and save the forest. So you may be small, but keep doing all that you can because what you're doing is amazing. So carry on being superheroes, carry on being amazing, and I hopefully will see you soon for another story. Thanks.